Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Tessie's World. Happy Wise Wednesday. I want to say today just make the wise choice. That's it. That's it. Whatever it is that you're beating up yourself about, whatever it is that you can't get off your brain, whatever it is that is just haunting you, make the wise choice. You got it. You're wise. Trust me. You may not have been through this situation, this experience, or this scenario before, but there's something with that has happened in your past, in your life, that can help you make the wise decision for today. So whatever it is, make that wise decision. I wish you, with your wise decision, I wish you positivity, pre, um, productivity, prosperity, peace, acceptance, love, guidance, and understanding, and some clarity. So make that wise choice. All right, guys. So you've seen what this video is about. I am so excited to make this video right now because... It popped in my head this morning, so I'm like, oh yeah, let's get it, right? Right. So, as you've seen, the video is about what do you bring to the table? I know you guys have heard that before. What do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? Because, you know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if some of us really bring anything to the table that is of some essence and substance. Now, listen, I'm not trying to step on nobody's foot, hurt nobody's feelings, but it is what it is. Some of us bring the bare minimum to the table and we think that that should be glorified. We think that that should be all that, you know, oh, it's, oh, you better accept. You ain't bringing really nothing to the table. You ain't bringing nothing to the table, girl. So, like I said, this girl, God, whatever, like I said, um, this popped in my head this morning because I had asked myself, what am I bringing to the table? What am I bringing to the table? And this, listen, this video, I'm not just saying it's for relationships. I'm saying for yourself. What are you bringing to the table for yourself? Are you giving yourself resources? Are you helping yourself become stable? Whether that be physically, mentally, because you can become physically stable, okay? Whether that be physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, socially, financially. Are you helping yourself become stable in any of those avenues? Are you helping yourself progress? Are you helping yourself elevate? Are you helping yourself evolve? Come on now, are you helping yourself grow? If you're not bringing anything to the table for yourself, how the hell you think that you bringing something else to the table for someone else? Think about that. What are you bringing to the table? Ask yourself. Because I asked myself and I was like, whoa, sis. Now, I don't know now. I don't know what you bring bringing to the table right now. I mean, of course, we all have great qualities, Right? Sometimes what we bring to the table is not tangible. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm not saying that. But with that same mindset, in that same breath, I am going to say this. That there also has to be something that we bring to the table that is tangible. We need to be able to bring something non and tangible at the same time. Non-tangible and tangible. We need to be able to say, listen, all right, Tussie, right now, you bring this to the table for yourself. You can't touch it. You can't grab it. And you can't hold it, girl. But you know it's there. However, on this side, girl, look what you... Hold this up. Girl, we need both of them. Because if we don't got both, in some ways, since it's Libra season, let's say this, we'll be unbalanced. And that's a fact. That is a big fact right there. So we need to ask ourselves, what are we bringing to the table for ourselves? Don't look at this video and say, nah, nah, we ain't, th that's the problem. So many of us are always wanting to say what we do for somebody else, how we help somebody else, and blah, blah, blah. But we can't speak one god darn thing that we do for ourselves, and that's the problem. We want to be applauded and cherished and placed on this pedestal for what we do for other people. But we're not even doing it for ourselves. And that's the problem. That's not it, man. That's not it. First of all, so since we want to talk about what we bring into the table, now let's talk about what type of table do you have. Do you even have a table? Do you have one of those trays that you get from McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Popeye's, or the fast food place? Do you even have that? Do you have the individual table? You know, the one where you want to sit in front of the TV, but you want to still have a table. So you, you know, the fold up one. Do you have that? Do you have a box? 
that's turned upside down with some duct tape on it? Do you have a table that has four legs, but one of them is uneven, so it's kind of lopsided? Do you have a round table? Do you have a two-seater table? Do you have a four-seater table? Do you have a family-sized table? Do you have a rectangle table? Now, since you got all that, where you sit at? You sit at the head? You sit at the feet? You sit at one of the places on the side where you just a part of the congregation? Where you sit at? We need to ask ourselves these things because we don't. Everybody always talk about what you bring to the table. We've seen this magnificent, fantastic, just enormous um, blessing that Tyler Perry was able to accomplish. Uh, to accomplish and conquer that now he wants to share with his community and his post said i'm showing people what i'm bringing to the table or what is my table it says something like that but either way it was his table but look look what he's bringing to the table but don't you know that there was a time when he didn't have a table there was there was a time when he had a lopsided table there was a time when his table only had one placemat on it there was a time when his table had two placemats there was a time when he had all the best china Listen, it's okay. I'm not trying to start this video. I mean, I'm not trying to beat nobody down in this video because I'm speaking to myself too. So self is included. What am I bringing to the table? What kind of table do I have? Where do I sit at my table? You know what I'm saying? What placemat do I have at my table? Because let me tell you something. If your table ain't set, you can't go over here and sit at somebody else's. Because now when you sit at their table, they're going to give you what they feel you deserve by sitting at their table. And it's only by you knowing what you brought and what type of table you got that you'll be able to say, no, this ain't what I want. I got a table over here, but I'm choosing. Remember, make that wise choice. I'm choosing to come over here and sit at your table. So now we can break bread together. So now we can share both of our tables together to make a bigger table. But if you don't have a table over here, you come sit at this table. This person going to say, I ain't giving you a half of that loaf. That's what's going to happen. That is what is going to happen. And then that's what happens to us. That's what happens to our self-esteem. That's what happens to us falling into depression. That's what happens to us feeling like we're worthless and hopeless and everything else-less. Okay? We are sitting at another table and we're accepting anything that that person gives us. Because we ain't build up ourselves. That's what happens. We got to build our table first, guys. And let me tell you something. If you got any of those tables or goddamn you ain't got a table, you sitting on the floor, you embrace sitting on that floor. Because you embracing sitting on that floor will eventually build you up to have the best fucking table that you want in your life. And then after you build that one, you'll build another one. So don't be ashamed about anything the purpose of this video is to ask yourself these questions to get you to thinking so that you can get in the process so that you can get on a path to want to start making those changes so that you can have what you want to have it ain't to hurt nobody feelings i say that again it ain't i'm not beating up on nobody because i said already that i'm included i'm included i'm trying to figure out what I'm bringing to the table. I'm trying to figure out what type of table I have. I'm trying to figure out where do I sit in my own table. I'm trying to figure out what table, if I have a table, what table is it that I'm looking to go get? What table is out there for me? So that I can leave this one behind and go chase after that one. This is what we have to do, guys, to build ourselves up. Stop always worrying about somebody else and worry about yourself. Stop taking what people say so negatively because that's the thing. If you know you got a table when somebody try to come at you, step on your neck or say something that is shady, sarcastic or anything of that sort about you and your table. If you are set within, you don't give a damn what they say about your table. They mad because they not sitting at it. Oh, you want to say that again? They mad because they not sitting at it. So now they want to come at you for your table. But they don't know what table they got either, child. They don't know what table they got. No. That's why they want to be upset about your table. Yeah. That's why. So I say this with all the love in the world. Find your table. Create your table. Build your table. Perfect your table. Make your table unique for you. If you only got two place settings that's fine don't mean you ain't got two more in the drawer 
set your table for you. Stop trying to set it to prove to somebody. Yeah, that's a big one. Because we always want to do things because we want to prove to somebody else what we got. You ain't got to prove to nobody nothing. Nothing. Because that person, trust and believe, we spoke about this before, is trying to prove to somebody else. And now we all up in this damn ladder. I'm going to prove to you. No, I'm proved to you. No, I'm proved to you. I'm proved. Oh, God, God damn it. It's tiresome. It is tiresome. Ain't nobody got time to be doing all that proving. Shit. By the time you did all that proving, that's why you ain't got no more energy to prove to yourself. Because you done wasted all of it trying to prove to this person, that person, and everybody else. Yeah. So listen, guys. We're going to get this table together. Remember what I said. Don't beat up on yourself. I said that last video. Stop it. Appreciate, appreciate and accept where you are so that you can gain the courage so that you can gain the desire, the determination, the devotion, the focus. Okay, now let's get it. So you can gain all of that to get where you want. I mean, get what you want and where you want to go. I'm sorry, I put those together, but y'all got what I was saying. Yeah, that's what it is. So don't beat up on yourself for where you are right now. Just accept it. Just accept it because accepting it is what's going to move you further. All right? And get those tables together, guys. I'm going to get my table together because, as I said, I'm speaking to myself. What am I bringing to the table? All right, guys. So with that, I'm going to close. I'm going to say get your table together. Find out where you sit. Find out who you want at your table, first of all. Find out what table you want, what you want your table to represent. All right? Find out what size you want because everybody don't want that goddamn 18 place set table. Some people want four. Some people want a two seater. Goddamn, some people want an individual one seat. It is, it is perfectly fine. Whatever table you want is what you want. Find out what is your tangible things that you offer and what is your non-tangible things because both of them matter. Both of them matter. All right? So with that, I'm going to say I hope that everybody has a fantastic day. You know what I'm saying? If you sad, if you need, you know, some joy in your life, whatever, take a sip, take a walk, pack up them bags, save that money and take a trip. Do whatever you need to do in your life to make yourself happy. Because at the end of the day, all you got is you. Have a great day, guys. So guys, I totally forgot to say like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, your family, your foe, share it with anyone. Come in the comments and speak to me and tell me what you think about this video. Tell me how you feel is um, a good way to be able to build, you know, your own table. Tell me some things that maybe you realized that you had to go through, that you had to let go and that you had to relearn in order to build the table the way that you wanted it, right? So... Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and share with the family, friend, foe, and everybody else. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.